How much are you gonna charge for that beautiful set of nails? Today's situation is that your client walks in and wants a completely different shape. This in particular is gonna require some work, potentially. That's what you have to assess and figure out. You're going from a stiletto to a tapered square. How exactly are you gonna go about charging this client for the shape change? How much are you gonna charge? Or will you charge at all? Let's go talk to the pro, Tracy Ryerson, and find out exactly what to do. I'm excited about today's set of nails, Tracy. You're bringing tapered square. Talk to us about the set of nails that you're gonna do. <laughs> so Steph has a little bit longer kind of Almanetto style nails. Yep. Um, happens, clients wanna change. They see something on Pinterest or Instagram and they're like, oh, I, I like that tapered square going right. on. We have to figure, okay, is a room to create it mm. like you know or is it going to be too tapered is, or do we have to start out all over right so that's kind of what we have to decide and in shortening the nail you're gonna have to consider like is it going to be thick in that area like how do you thin it out how much time is it going to take right then you got bulk so right. you know and she has some smile lines on hers and the design that we're doing can't really have glitter in the background so we're gonna have to again take mm, down mm, mm. challenges challenges money 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 well that's the part i'm so curious about is to see how much all this is going to cost tracy are you ready to do the set let's do it okay let's get started with what we're going to be using we're going to be using cover pink to do our fill of course some nail liquid then the colors we'll be using is white 101 and pink 106. Let's get started with the demo. We're gonna start by pushing back our cuticle first. What Steph has is a French smile line of glitter. The look we're going for is a little transparent in spots, so we're gonna have to take this down. Plus, we're gonna do a kind of a reshaping. We're gonna take that roundness off and go with more of a tapered square. So we're gonna start by using our safety bit course. We're gonna turn on our electric file to about 14, 15,000 RPMs. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down right here, right where she has that smile line. Now, Steph's smile line doesn't go all the way through. She actually has a nude nail underneath, which is gonna be super convenient because I will not have to remove the nail completely. I just have to get through that glitter. So we're just focusing where that glitter is. Always keeping the bit in motion. That way it doesn't heat up on our plant. Get through it. Get this corner right here. Okay, so we have the bolt down where we need it. I don't need to come through back here because we're gonna be using the same color, so we'll leave that bulkiness. We're gonna go ahead and switch our bit out to our medium grit sanding band. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down on about 4,000 RPMs. Pull her skin back so we can tuck right into that cuticle area, making sure it's nice and clean, getting that back end flush, and then just follow through, remove the shine. And that's it. Now, because we removed the glitter from this area, she would normally, if we're gonna shorten, it'll thicken the tip up. But we had to thin it way down anyway to remove the glitter, so it's gonna work out for us. However, if it was a new nail and we're gonna shorten, we'd wanna thin it down anyways. That's way, when we redo the nail, it'll look nice and thin. I'm gonna grab our swipe. And cleanse that nail off. Now you can do this either way. I could have shortened and got the square look right off the bat, or you can do it at the end like I'm going to. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna take our protein wand. Make sure we hit any natural nail that's exposed. 
gonna do that on all 10 fingers. Once we've done that, come back and do it for our second coat. Once we have that, we're gonna grab our liquid. We're gonna grab our Cover Pink Powder. Now we don't need a whole lot back here. She wasn't really grown out much. So we're just gonna grab a small pearl. We're just gonna fill that very small area in in the back. Just walk it around, pull it through. Now we did remove quite a bit from here, the stress area, so we definitely need to thicken that up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a medium sized pearl, not too big, and just fill in that middle area. Remember, we're gonna shorten, so I'm not gonna stress about pulling it out too far. Just get it where I want it. That way I know when I shorten, I'm gonna have plenty of room. No need to do a bunch on the tip because we're gonna shorten that and I wouldn't wanna waste product. Okay guys, I think I said I was gonna file and shape, but I forgot we gotta actually shorten this, get it into that tapered square. So I'm gonna turn my electric file on and we're just gonna take it at the tip and run it in. I don't wanna take too much length off because we're just going with a mild taper. Take down the bulk. Blend it in. Okay, not much work. Again, you could have done that prior, and I guess it would just depend on my mood that day, which one I did. I think if I was taking down major length, I would go ahead and take down the length first. why we don't want to go too short at first because that will give you that room to like file everything in and make sure it's nice and even. Okay, let's get ready with the design. Okay, we're all shaped. We're going to go with our design and grab our protein bond. Get that on all the nails. Polish doesn't ship. Okay, so we're gonna grab our pink 106 and our white 101. Grab a tile. We're going to take our pink 106 and then put a thin layer down. take a little bit of that pink 106 on our tile, our white 101. What we're going to do is we're going to take our gel brush and we're just going to drag it across so you're kind of picking up both colors. We're going to set it down and we're just going to kind of swirl it in there. Kind of give us a kind of cloudy smoke look. Do it again. Wipe some areas off because again, I want it to be a little more translucent. We actually have a pink nail on, so it's not going to be that translucent. Just gives it that kind of illusion of depth. Once we have that, we're going to stick her in the light. We're going to cure for. 60 seconds. I'm gonna grab our stain resistant top coat or manicure top coat, whatever you prefer. Put a nice coat on. Get her in the light for another 60 seconds. I'm gonna grab our swipe. Cleanse her off. We're gonna finish the look and give you the glam shot.
Tracy, we're done with the set of nails. The big question, how much? <laughs> 75. 75 dollars seems very inexpensive. Please explain yourself. So we have 60 for the fill. Okay. But we do have to shorten and there is bulk. We had to take down that glitter. So I'm charging her 10 for- For the reshaping? For the reshaping and okay. rebalancing that. Now, there wasn't much work there. Okay. That's why it's 10. That's why it's 10. Yeah. If she had had like a stiletto and we had to take all this down and it was really thick, it would be more. It okay. Would, it would definitely be more. So I for sure thought the work was gonna be like way more than it actually was. So so the $10 is not, not so surprising um, since you're saying it wasn't that much work to do. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Okay, and then, so that's 10. And then the marble comes with one additional color. Yep, so five. Very quick, very easy. This 30, is a- 30 minute service. 30, I was gonna ask you, 30 minute service, yeah. in and out. In and out. And this is probably one of my favorite oh my types gosh. of shapes. I love the tapered square. There's something about it. You know what it is? I do love that look. I, I don't really, I, I love long stilettos, yeah. stilettos on her, so. No, I do too, but there's some, I don't know what is the consistent, like sharp, like just that shaping. It just looks really good. I'm surprised you don't get a level out on each one. I can just <laughs> see it now. I'm gonna get a level out. Thanks. And then we'll check it out to see it's how perfect. accurate your nails perfect. are. Thank you for the set of nails, Tracy. Thank you. Great job. We'll see you next week.